Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to demonstrate working of an integration that will automatically close open BPs in Oracle Procurement Cloud application. This integration addresses two issues. The first one, if an agreement amount is fully consumed, but that agreement is still open, then it creates confusion for the procurement self-service user to raise a requisition. And secondly, a BP cannot be finally closed until unless all the associated POs are either cancelled or finally closed. Now let's see the working of this integration. So what we have done here, we have built a dashboard that will display all the open BPAs where the agreement amount has been consumed, but they are still open. And if you see the end date is blank and the document status is still open. So we are going to take the first BPA to demonstrate the working. And now if we see this is the self-service requisition page. And if we take a look back at the blanket agreement amount, which is 300K and fully that has been fully consumed, but we are still able to see this agreement on the requisition page. So let's take a look at the agreement. So this is our agreement NP4334. This agreement is in open status. It is in open status. And if we try to finally close this PPA, system will throw an error that you cannot cancel or finally close this agreement because there are some open purchase orders. If we take a look at the POs, so we can see there are more than eight to nine POs which are it says in closed or in cancel status. Ideally, that all these POs have to be in the finally closed status. Only then we can finally close the BPA. So now let's run this integration. Submit now. So this integration will run in the background and we will monitor the progress. So that job has been submitted. This has been queued. It is in progress. So what this integration will do? So this integration will look at all the POs which are eligible for final closure. Means if any PO is in closed status, it will mark it as finally closed. Then it will end at the BPA. So there are two activities which will be performed by this integration. Now we have we can see that integration has been succeeded. So we have to just go back on the PO page and verify the status of the PO. So you would have noticed that status has been changed from closed to final closed. So this is what the as a first step this integration does. And now if we go back to our agreement, so you would notice that uh, there is a change order that has been created by the integration this change order is going to end date this agreement. So we have to just wait for a couple of seconds for the background job to end date the agreement. Now, if we see that this PPA has been end dated and if we go back to our dashboard and if we refresh this dashboard, uh, we can see that that particular BP is out of the queue because that has been now ended. And now as a last step, we go back to the agreement and now we can finally close. Now, if you would have noticed, there is no error. There is only warning that you cannot undo this action. We are fine. And we are going to finally close the BPA. So now with this BP has been finally closed and let's take a look at the requisition page now if we search back for this agreement so it is out of the queue so for procurement user the process is more efficient user will not be able to raise a requisition against any fully consumed agreement so this is what basically this integration does and it basically streamline the whole process of BPA closure.